it started smoking and the brakes, it started like vibrating and I am actually locked in the vehicle and I cannot get out. This call came out of Florida. A Rivian R1S, it loses power. It locks up, fills with smoke, and the driver can't get out. She's trapped in her own vehicle while it's actively failing around her. You found Stashed. I'm Pat, firefighter, mechanical engineer, and battery guy. Apparently, the vehicle reportedly slammed on its brakes. The whole dash started flashing with warnings, and then the cabin started filling up with smoke. When she tried to open the doors, nothing. The electronic latches were dead, and in that moment, when you're breathing in smoke and your car feels like it's shutting down on you, all these great engineering solutions, they go out the window. People panic. And that's when she called 911. Now, I've done several videos on the hazards of using the 12-volt or low-voltage system to open your car doors. It's one of those things that can cause major issues if there's a failure. And I get it. The whole concept, it's been around forever. But the biggest difference, for the last decade or so, most of the vehicles that used electric door handles, they were luxury vehicles, not your everyday drivers. These types of handles weren't commonplace until Tesla came around. And I'll be 100% honest, I've never had an issue. Actually, I've had more of an issue grabbing the manual release instead of pushing that little button. That's because, personally, I find the front seat mechanical release pretty intuitive. And that goes for Rivian as well, their manual backup. But here's the problem. What's intuitive to me, or to you, doesn't mean a damn thing in a real emergency when somebody's scared they're choking on smoke, and they've never even practiced that motion before. There are too many EV owners out there that have never once touched their mechanical release, and even more that don't even know it exists. It's crazy. So I kicked through the window yeah. because everything stopped. Yeah. The, the power didn't work, the door didn't open, the, yeah. the windows didn't go down. So and when the cabin is filling with smoke, the screen is dead, the power is gone, and that adrenaline is going through the roof. Nobody is calmly thinking, hmm, let me get my manual so I can get out of this deadly situation. Nope. They're going to reach for that button that they always use. And when that doesn't work, they're going to freeze. Now, let's talk about the firefighters. It took responders about 45 minutes to physically get her out of the vehicle. They eventually found the mechanical release, but it took a bit of Googling to find out where Rivian hid it. And honestly, it's really not that hidden. Realistically, had this been a real emergency, more than that haze of smoke, like real vehicle fire, this rescue would have taken seconds. Fire crews absolutely could have broken the glass or forced that door if they needed to. No hesitation. But this situation was weird. So they did what a lot of crews would have done. Try the non-destructive method first. And honestly, the crew on scene made a smart move. They used the emergency plug to ensure the vehicle wasn't going to move. They chalked the wheels. And once that was done, they took their time to figure out how to locate that manual release. That's reasonable. No one wants to put a Halligan through a $90,000 SUV unless it's actually necessary. Okay, we all have that guy at the station. But if the cabin had been burning, whole different story. They would have been through that window in seconds. This highlights something the EV industry and, quite frankly, the auto industry in general keeps forgetting. You can't assume the public knows your escape plan. You can't assume firefighters have muscle memory on every single electric vehicle model. And you can't assume anything's going to be intuitive when the cabin is full of smoke. Vehicle manufacturers need visible, universal, idiot-proof, mechanical releases. Take a lesson from the Ford Mustang Mach-E. They don't use electronic door handles inside the vehicle. Any door handle inside the vehicle should be old school, connected to a cable, physically connected to the actual latch mechanism. Like we've been doing it for the last hundred years. It's safe, it's proven, it's effective. This Rivian didn't go into thermal runaway, and it didn't become a big vehicle fire. It was a failure of the low-voltage system that caused all these issues. But it's another demonstration on how vulnerable people are when the electrical systems inside these vehicles, when they collapse. One short circuit, and suddenly you're locked inside a box, and you don't know how to open it. And in that moment, the only thing that matters is whether you, or the people coming to save you, know where that mechanical release is.